our God is a supernatural God and God wants us to live supernatural lives. And the fact that God is so real and alive and uh, he's so engaged in each one of our lives. He wants to be part of our lives and he's drawing us closer to him uh, each and every day. And one of the ways by which God speaks to us is through prophecy. And prophecy is nothing but God speaking to man through man. And God wants to engage or use us as instruments or he wants us to be instruments of his glory. He wants us to be instruments of his righteousness. So this prophetic gift is something which is so wonderful. The Holy Spirit speaks to us. God speaks to us in the here and now. Um, one of the things that we need to dispel uh, from our minds is this is this a prejudice that God does not speak or I cannot hear the voice of God. Uh, the, the, the Lord Jesus very plainly declares, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So if, you are, uh, if Jesus is your shepherd, then it's, it is your privilege, it is my privilege to hear the voice of the shepherd. So prophecy is just God speaking to man, through man, and he wants to speak to us. He wants to give his word in our hearts and he wants to reveal his word to us so that we might speak out so we may be a blessing to others. So the, prof, uh, the prophetic word uh, does many things and one of the things that we see is that the prophetic word brings edification, exhortation and comfort. We see this in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 3 where Paul writes to the Corinthian church and he says, He who prophesies speaks edification, exhortation and comfort to men. So the prophetic word comes to build us up. The prophetic word comes to um, comfort us. The prophetic word we receive in order, to, in order to be encouraged. And what does edification mean? Edification means that we are actually built up. There is constructive spiritual progress. The Word of God produces in us a spiritual progress. He brings um, something that builds us up. The Word of God, when we receive the prophetic word, it also comforts us. There is consolation. Maybe there are things that we are going through that others uh, know nothing about, but nothing can be hidden from God. And God speaks to us through man. And he, maybe someone comes and, and says, you know, I just sense that God is uh, telling you that uh, he knows your problem. And if they, when they go on to describe the exact nature of the problem, maybe we haven't shared with anyone uh, living on this earth, but then we, we are left wondering, you know, how did this person know? How did this person come to know? And the fact is that they received from God, that God just chose to reveal to them in order to comfort us, in order to console us. So we receive comfort when we receive the prophetic word. The prophetic word brings comfort and also the prophetic words brings exhortation, which means encouragement. Um, it causes hope to, to be built in us so that we can look to the future. So the prophetic word brings edification, it brings exhortation and it brings comfort. So it's so wonderful to, to, for us to really pursue the prophetic, for us to receive from God, receive the prophetic word so that we can be a blessing to others. So I just want us to pray and let's open our hearts and to receive the prophetic word from him. Maybe there are people whom we need to meet and, and whom God has set up a divine appointment so that we can be carriers of his word to them. Father, we thank you. We pray that we'll be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. We pray today, God, that you will open our hearts to receive your word. We, we thank you for the gift of prophecy that you've placed, O oh God, that is activated by your Holy Spirit to our hearts. And we pray that we will walk in it, Father God, in the fullness, Lord, as led by your Spirit. And we open our hearts to receive your word so that we might go and be a blessing to others. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.